In this video, I'm going to explain how to use Autograph to graph uh, volumes of revolution. So you should have, um, you need to click the advanced uh, setup first, but uh, you should be given this screen. So I'm just going to set up the graph itself. So you see this little piece of paper here? It's the new 3D graph page. Click that. So you'll get this. I don't like the black one so much. Click this button right here, it says light background. That'll give you a white one. I also don't like the boxes, so we can get rid of that. And then there's one more thing, you gotta click right here, and that's a drop down, and you need just the X and Y. So you'll drop the Z, and you should be able to drag it around, so it's still 3D. Okay, so now, push the equals button, and we'll just type in Y equals x squared. And make sure you click the plot as 2D equation. So we're dropping that x, or sorry, the z uh, axis. You can see it's just y equals x squared. Uh, you can see the cursor here, it looks like a regular cursor, but when I get closer and get on top, the cursor changes. If that's the case, you can then select it. If I double click and unclick plot as 2D, you'll see that it's got that z involved, which C is unlimited. So click it again and click that button. We'll get it back to the X, Y. All right, so now if it's gray, that means it's selected. If it's as a color, that means it's not. So I want you to make it gray, select it. Control click if you're on a Mac or right click if you're on a PC and click find area. Uh, rectangles are fine, we'll start at zero and go to, let's just say two, and division's five, we'll, we'll increase that later. So there's our area. If I click on the area and make sure it's just the area, so that's the only gray part, the function's red, and as soon as you do that, this little lightning bolt will show up. So if it's unclicked, it will go away, and otherwise it'll show up. So click on that, and we can increase our divisions. Okay, and then click your turtle if you want it to actually show you it being revolved. If you don't, if you just want the picture, then you can unclick that. But click the bars, make sure only the bars are gray. Control click or right click and find volume. And this is the line that you want it revolved around. We want it revolved around the x-axis, y equals zero. So there we go. You can see it start to revolve. There's our graph. So if you click on the bars, make sure just the just the disks, I mean, are highlighted or gray. Click that. Drop down the volume to divisions, and then we can increase our uh, the amount of disks we have, and it will approach our volume.